Does anybody bake? Anybody bake cookies, bread? Or just a bag of flour? About a five pound bag of flour. It's less than that. It's like about a dollar. Sorry? Depends where you buy it, whether you buy in high quality, low quality, right? Bag of flour, let's call it a dollar for now. How many calories in a bag of flour? I have no idea. About 7,500. 7,500 calories in one pound, in one five pound bag of flour. That's about 1850 calories. Uh, if you divide that over four days, it's about 1850 calories per day. For four days. In other words, you could basically live off a five pound bag of flour for four days if you didn't eat anything else. Mix it with a little water, make some really, really, really nasty bread. And there you go. You could survive on it. And most flour today is enriched. Unleavened bread. Sorry? I said it would be unleavened bread. bread that isn't unleavened. Yes, unleavened bread. Without any yeast. Although there are some natural yeasts in most flour. So, so it's enriched, which means that you're actually getting a lot of the vitamins and minerals that you actually need every day already in the bread. If we go back in time to 1500, The average peasant working the land and growing their own wheat and then threshing their own wheat and separating the, the husks and then grinding it into flour and then baking it. To produce this, the equivalent of one five pound bag of flour required about three days of work. Three days of work to get four days worth of food. How much does the average American make on a daily basis, give or take? About a hundred bucks a day. Right? If we take GDP per capita, it's a little bit more than a hundred dollars a day. So then, in three days time, the average American could buy, well, could earn $300. And with that $300, they could buy 300 bags of flour, which would be enough food to feed a person for four years. In other words, right, you work three days and you have enough food for four years, if that's all you ate. And you could, and survive. So how much wealthier are we, wealthier are we than they? It, it's, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to fathom. How much wealthier we are. We're so wealthy that we eat other things besides flour and water. We, we eat strawberries in February and fresh green beans year round. Apples in March. When you know apples are harvested in the fall, not in the spring, unless you can buy apples from Chile, which we do now. That's how much wealthier we are than they were. It's amazing. It's overwhelming. How lucky we are. I, I talked to a friend who works for Agrigold, which is a local seed producer. He claims that in the United States every year, just in the United States, we produce enough calories to feed every human being on earth a daily caloric intake of 3,000 calories a day. And that's just the food produced in the United States. It turns out they grow food other places too. And most of you back at home have a yard that has grass in it, not food, that you could be growing food on. In other words, we are nowhere near a situation where there's not enough food for people. We're nowhere near a situation of overpopulation where there's not enough food to, pe to feed people in the world. That's, that's far, far, far away. It's just that our tastes have changed, our preferences have increased along with our wealth. We follow? Okay. How can we get to how can we get to this place? What